e le genti che passeranno mi diranno che bel fior. Una mattina mi son svegliato, oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. I'm sure you know this song from somewhere. This Italian song is famous internationally and it is still at the center of controversy and debates. Do you want to find out the origin of the word ciao and many other things about this song? Well, keep on watching! Ciao, sono Pietro. I'm an Italian certified ESL teacher and I have been teaching English as a second language and Italian to non-native speakers for more than 15 years. If you want to listen to some Italian songs, understand the meaning of their lyrics and learn about the Italian language and culture in the process, you've come to the right place. Today we're going to listen to Bella Ciao. This is a folk protest song and it goes back to the end of the 19th century. It was originally sang by female agricultural laborers, but its most famous version is that of the anti-Nazi, anti-fascist uh, Second World War resistance period. The Italian partisans fighting against the German occupying army changed the words of the song, making it hugely famous. The song has acquired new international fame after uh, it appeared in a Spanish TV series aired on Netflix, La Casa de Papel. Its authors and composers are unknown, however, apparently the melody was inspired by the Jewish tradition. Uh, its melody is very moving and powerful, yet simple, and the lyrics are just perfect for learning a language, because there are so many connections and repetitions from one verse to the other and from one line to the other, and it will be very easy for you to remember new words. This song is still considered to be an actual political statement by many Italian citizens, which means that if you're heard singing it, some may hail you as a hero, while others may point the finger at you and say, you dirty communist. Well, after you've heard the song and after you've listened to the explanations, you can let us know how you see it in the comments below. Una mattina mi son svegliato Oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao Una mattina mi son svegliato E ho trovato l'invasor Oh partigiano, portami via Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao O oh, partigiano, portami via Che mi sento di morir E se io muoio da partigiano O oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao E se io muoio Da partigiano tu mi devi seppellir seppellire la sua montagna oh bella ciao bella ciao bella ciao 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 e seppellire la sua montagna Sotto l'ombra di un bel fior E le genti che passeranno Oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao E le genti che passeranno Mi diranno che bel fior E questo è il fiore del partigiano Oh 
bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. E questo è il fiore del partigiano morto per la libertà. Bella can be an adjective or, as in this case, a noun. And in Italian, all nouns and adjectives must be either female or male. In this case, bella, you might have guessed it from the final A, is female and singular. And it means beautiful or gorgeous or good-looking. However, it could also mean sweetheart or darling. And I think that's the case for this song. Uh, my sweetheart, my darling, Bella, my Bella. Ciao! This has got to be one of the most famous Italian words. Uh, it is a general word for informal greetings. You can say ciao to friends or family when you meet or when you part. And it's a casual hi when you see someone walking by. And you can use it twice in a row, like ciao ciao, as a more affectionate or lighter greeting. It actually comes from the Venetian dialect and it is short for schiavo, which means slave. Now, with time, the word schiavo transformed in schiavo and after that it lost the S at the beginning, becoming ciao. So, as a way of greeting, it means I'm your slave or, to put it a bit more elegantly, at your service. So, bye sweetheart or beautiful bye, okay, as you want. Uh, it starts with una mattina mi son svegliato. One morning I woke myself, I woke me up, okay. I woke up, but this me, it means like I woke, woke myself. Um, oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. And as, as we have seen in the title, this means oh sweetheart, bye, or oh gorgeous, bye, or Oh, beautiful, bye, or something like that. And then it repeats the same exact line as the first, Una mattina mi sono svegliato. One morning I woke myself up, e ho trovato l'invasor, and I found the invader. Okay? And, e is and, I found, so this is found, but uh, here in Italian we use another uh, tense, which is the uh, passato prossimo, and literally this would be, and I have found the law invader, okay, the invader. And then it uh, goes on by saying, oh partigiano porta mi via, oh partisan, it's oh, very similar, take me away, porta mi, porta mi, take me away, via, away. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 sweetheart, bye, my sweetheart, bye, gorgeous. Oh, partigian, portami via, and then it repeats, oh, partisan, take me away, che mi sento di morire. Now, I translated this as because I feel I'm going to die, or this is not literally because, it should be that, okay, that, I feel, mi sent, I feel myself, di morir, of dying. This should be the literal translation. Che mi sento di morir. So because I feel that I'm going to die, I, I have this sensation, this feeling that I'm going to die. And it goes on by saying that, e se io muoio da partigiano, which is and, if, important word, if, se, I die, io muoio, as a partisan, okay, as a partisan, as partisan, if I die as a partisan, bella ciao, sweetheart, bye, sweetheart, bye, e se io muoio da partigiano, once again, and if I die as a partisan, tu mi devi seppellir, you, myself, must bury, <coughs> sorry, you must bury me, okay, and it goes on, Seppellire lassù in montagna, 
bury, it doesn't say bury me, okay, uh, but we can infer that it means bury me. Uh, bury me, lasu, which is the union of la plus su, so la plus, uh, which means there, and su is up, up there, in the mountains, it, it should be in mountain, because montaña is singular, like on, on a mountain, something like that. But when we say in montaña, we actually mean in the mount in the mountains, so in an area where there are mountains. Okay. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 sweet reply. Sempelir la sua montagna, once again, bury me up, up there in the mountains or on a mountain if you want, if you prefer. Sotto l'ombra di un bel fiore. This literally means under the, this is short for la, ombra, shadow of a uh, beautiful or pretty or uh, good looking, uh, beautiful flower. Fior is uh, like, we needed uh, a syllable, uh, we needed this line to be a syllable shorter, so the Italian word, standard word, would be fiore, okay, but here uh, they decided to leave the last uh, e out, fiore. So, under the shadow of a beautiful flower. And the story goes on by saying E le genti che passeranno. Now, this is quite strange, uh, even for Italian people. Uh, we don't often say, we don't often say or hear the, um, the phrase le genti. Uh, which we use we usually say la gente, which means the people, and this sounds like it's from the Bible or something like that. It should be the peoples, the peoples of, of some um, area, the peoples. Uh, but I, cho I chose to translate it, uh, it as uh, and the people, and the people who will pass by. This is a future tense. So, we'll pass by. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Sweeter bye, gorgeous bye. E le gente che passeranno, and the people who will pass by, mi diranno che bel fiore. Uh, this is future tense again. So, we'll tell me what a beautiful flower. Only that in Italian we say what beautiful flower. Che beautiful flower. And the, the last verse, well, this song has got no chorus, but it's all repetition, so we don't need one. Uh, questo è il fiore del partigiano. This is the flower, word by word, of the partisan. Del is the union of D plus il, it becomes del, del partigiano, of the partisan. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. And this is the flower of the partisan, morto per la libertà. It means dead for the freedom, or who died for the freedom, or who died for freedom, dead uh, for freedom. And this ends the song. Whoa, that's great! You've watched the video till the end. So if you like videos like this, hit subscribe, click on the like button, and above all, welcome to LIS, learn Italian songs, learn Italian with songs. Bye, ciao! Is that of the... Questo lo mettiamo nei bloopers.